Hi, my name is Chuck Stentz. I'm a biologist for the Maryland Department of Natural Resources Fishery Service. This is the truck that we use to transport our adult hickory shad from the Susquehanna to Manning Hatchery. The truck carries anywhere between 100 and 200 hickory shad per tank. These are the probes that are used to generate the electric field. We're using these hickory shad for our brood stock. We collect hickory shad on the Susquehanna, inject them with a hormone, and we send them back to our hatchery where they go into tanks and then they naturally spawn on their own. Uh, and in about two days, they'll release their eggs use those eggs in other target tributaries, which are the Patuxent, the Chop Tank, and the Marshy Hood. There you can see the fish in the water. He's inside the electric field. It doesn't kill the fish, it just stuns them. We begin the season April 1st and continue usually through May 15th or until the fish aren't there any longer. The netters usually each have a pedal to stand on. As fish are captured, they put them into a live well on the boat. The live well itself has a little bit of anesthetizing agent to keep the fish from stressing out too badly in a square tank. It wasn't too bad of a run for the first time. We got maybe 12, 15. And if they caught as many, that's 30 fish right there. So they're big fish too. Probably some big females in there. All the fish are unloaded from the boat and they take them to a tub with the same anesthetic in the water. We keep the fish asleep until they go into the tank truck. We have the same anesthetizing agent in the tub and we also supersaturate the water with oxygen. Boy. 350, 402. Boy, 315, 365. This is a rallo gun. It's used to inject the hormone into the fish. Boy, 340, 398. For each fish captured, we record sex and length data. Scale samples are taken to determine age. Shortly after we add the fish to the tank, the anesthetizing agent wears off. These hickory shad are transported to Manning State Fish Hatchery.